Jeff Holshue, a native of Rochester, New York, began his long association with Niagara University as a freshman in the fall of 1978. During his time at Niagara, he was a member of the men's basketball team and excelled in his pursuit of his Bachelor's of Business degree. First of all, he was bright, just academically inclined. Personality, just an engaging personality. Plus, he was a little bit of eye candy because he's a good looking, good looking young man and, and obviously a good looking um, older gentleman. Or he asked me to write a letter of recommendation for him. And the greatest compliment I could give him was to say, if I had a son, I would want him to be exactly like Jeff Holshu. Mary Helen Mahoney also began her studies at Niagara University in the fall of 1978 and earned her nursing degree from the College of Nursing in 1982. Well, what I would remember best about Mary Helen was that she, well, very pretty young woman. No, number two, very bright and uh, very alert, and uh, she was very serious about what she wanted to do as she moved on to give leadership to the class, to be a, an important member of uh, society. And Jeff would be running through, he was a member of the class and, and an officer, uh, and she would always say something like, you know, Father, someday I'm going to marry that man. In 1983, Jeff took a position with Morgan Stanley, and he and Mary Helen reconnected and rekindled their college relationship, marrying shortly thereafter. The couple moved to California when Jeff was asked to run the Los Angeles office for Morgan Stanley. While out west, Mary Helen served as an operating room nurse. The couple returned to the East Coast in the early 90s. Jeff was an outstanding student, a, a tremendous student, but on the same token, Jeff took that outstanding academic ability and he parlayed it into outstanding business acumen. Jeff created an, an outstanding career for himself. He created a lifelong career at Morgan Stanley, a great financial firm, a global firm. And Jeff Holshue is one of our best alumni in terms of business achievements. And what I like about Jeff too, is that he never forgot about Niagara. If you'll ask him what his next step is, it can be a week in Dubai and a week in London, and then two days back to see the kids and then uh, Mary Helen, and that's all part of what he'll tell you about. But one particular day when we thought we were busy, he's handling a coup in Hong Kong, is calm, you know, not finding it easy, but never taking the focus off what we, he was doing with Niagara. As the chairman of institutional securities for the Morgan Stanley Dean Witter Investment Corporation, Jeff remains committed to his alma mater, where he serves as chair of its board of trustees. He also serves as a member of the board of directors of the Nuclear Energy Institute and is a former president of the Metropolitan Golf Association. In addition to her nursing work in California, Mary Helen also worked as a pediatric nurse at Strong Memorial Hospital in Rochester and Memorial Sloan Kettering in New York City. She has also served as a board member of the Breast Cancer Alliance and as a trustee of Vermont Academy. With uh, Mary Helen, it's a special person that's a nurse and an even more special person that's a Niagara nurse. I think it's, it's one of the, the majors at Niagara University in the areas of study that you know, has the heart of St. Vincent. You know, the commitment to excellence, responding pe to people in need, um, health care. And, and her commitment to education as well. And I often say about Jeff that, um, you know, Jeff doesn't need to do this. This is a guy who was pulled at in uh, the biggest circles in life, and yet he chooses uh, to invest his time, energy, treasure, and resource into Niagara University. And so, you know, we've been the real beneficiaries of his great commitment. There's, there's no way we could repay him for the commitment he's made to Niagara University. For their commitment to their professions and service to the community and their alma mater, Niagara University is proud to present the Medal of Honor to Jeff and Mary Helen Holshue.